Hi everyone. Welcome back to Dance Mama Dance or welcome if you are new. My name is Jen and today we are going to be doing a total house disaster clean with me. It is an absolute mess. We are in the middle of a bathroom renovation and things have gotten very cluttered and very disorganized. We are having new carpet installed in our living room and my husband and I's bedroom next week and I want to get everything cleaned out as much as I possibly can. So make sure you follow along and clean with me. I hope this video provides you lots of cleaning motivation and that you get a lot done in your house today too. I chose to use the Method Glass and Surface Spray today just because I wanted to be able to use the same cleaning spray throughout my whole house clean and I knew I had to clean up windows and various surfaces so this was a nice option to be able to do both. Those of you who have been following along with me the last week or so, get excited. I am finally cleaning out this laundry basket that was the catch-all for everything. I pulled out of our bathroom when we had our flood and then we started our renovation and then we went on vacation. This laundry basket has been sitting in my house for, oh my goodness, like eight weeks. It's bad. So I finally cleaned everything out of it sorted it all out there was the most random items in there along with what was in the bathroom but i finally organized it and now everything that's going back into there is actually going to go into my bathroom once it's finished I've mentioned in a previous video that we live in a very small home. It is around 850 square feet and it was built in 1928. This is one of the cool little nooks that we like to call our hallway or hall closet. And it is definitely a great catch-all for anything that you want to walk by and sit there. So it definitely needed some decluttering. During our renovation of our bathroom, we are currently all sharing the same dresser and I've been calling it our family dresser and I kind of like it. When I need to put away laundry, everything just goes into one place. And since we only have two bedrooms in our home, it's not that big of a deal to have to go to the other room to grab what you need for the day. I don't think I necessarily want it to stay in my son's room because I do want him to have a little bit more room to play. So I'm thinking after the renovation that it might go back into our room, but I haven't quite decided yet.
here is the end result of my cleaning and decluttering in my son's room today. I cleaned out a ton of toys and put up all of the things that when he has a three-year-old moment, these are the first items to get thrown. So <laughs> he loves them. We're not getting rid of them, but he needs to ask to play with them and confirm that he's going to play nicely. So the majority of these toys are from Green Toys. It's one of my favorite toy brands. Definitely check it out. They use recycled milk cartons and all of the toys are extremely sturdy. Every time they've been thrown, they are just fine. <laughs> um, I did go ahead and pull this out. With minimalism, we do practice toy rotation. Um, I like my son to have a variety of things and we definitely enjoy playing dress up and make believe. So this kitchen and all of this stuff in this bin has been put away for about three months. So <laughs> he's going to be super excited when he comes home tomorrow and gets to play with everything in there. I did go ahead and reduce the amount of food that I left out with the kitchen we have all of the Melissa and Doug fruit and vegetables and I actually left them in that bin over there. I didn't get rid of them because they are great toys, but the problem with the kitchen before is that things were getting thrown and nothing was getting put away. So I downsized. <laughs> Hopefully this helps, we'll see. I did clean out his closet actually the other day. So this is all of his summer clothes and that's just extra hangers. And then I used this for storage. Since we're done with diapers, I don't have to have diaper boxes up there anymore. So this big blue bin on the bottom here has all of his like 5T and 4.5 and 6.7 winter clothes. So that's all put away. I do like to buy ahead, so that's there for easy access. And then I just went ahead and redid his little bookshelf here. Goodness knows these cars aren't going to stay like this for more than... 30 seconds, but um, I wanted to make it look cute. So he has like a hundred of these little things. <laughs> That's one of the things I decluttered. So I pared it down. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. <laughs> if we want to bring in another one, we have to take one of these away. So it's just to help with his free play and for him to understand that toys have value and that we don't need to mistreat our toys, that we take care of what we have. And I'm hoping because he'll have less distraction, he'll actually really play with the toys he has out. So I did set up our books here. I will show you, we love books. And I've recently got into Usborn. I wasn't a huge fan at first when he was a baby, but we love um, these Lift the Flat books. They're awesome, he loves to play with those. And then his teacher is Miss Molly. So <laughs> we actually haven't read this book yet, but I'm really excited to read it. And I think he'll think it's really cute. So that is it. There's his room tour, his favorite guest. Miss Shoo Shoo. So you've probably seen my two fur babies walking around today. My dog's name is Labat after Labat Blue Light. And my cat's name is Lucy, but my son calls her Shoo Shoo. Both of our girls were adopted from the Michigan Humane Society, and our family is a huge advocate for animal rescues and shelters within the area. Our kitchen definitely requires constant upkeep. We have a very limited amount of counter space and things can get messy super quickly. I also do not have a dishwasher, so I have to hand wash our dishes throughout the day. We also practice minimalism, as I've mentioned. So we try to limit how many 
cups we have and plates we have and extras. So this does also lead me to having to wash dishes more regularly, but it does keep me on task for keeping our kitchen clean. I started using the Mrs. Meyers dish soap in the radish scent the other day and it's not bad. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite by any means, but it's definitely very clean and very fresh. him to reach in and grab and possibly drop um, so I don't usually use plastic disposable dishware this is leftover from a birthday party but I did find these really cool um, heavyweight plastic spoons and forks and I really like that they had knives at Ikea and they're just a really nice um, quality considering where they're from and what they're made out of. I thought they'd be really good to teach Tyler how to start cutting things um, at the table when we're eating. That is going to be it for this video everyone. It has been a very long day of cleaning and I hope that it brought you a ton of cleaning motivation. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next cleaning video.